Hi, this is Sai Morton with the daily update on EuroFX. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the forexpsami.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation on the currency markets and should help you to stand top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpsami.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Welcome everybody guys, let's take a look at the euro currency today, yesterday actually. We talked about the Great British Pound and uh, specified the trading plan in anticipation of the uh, Bank of England meeting. So our suggestion is that bank will keep the rate the same, will not change them. And yesterday it was the probability by the Chicago Mercantile Exchange uh, Bank of England uh, monitoring tool, uh, watch tool was a 50-50. Today guys, it stayed, stands even in favor of the keeping rate. 45 on the 55. So just in a few hours before the meeting, you can see the probability has changed in the favor of the keeping rate and, and unchanged. So that suggests our idea that uh, on the background of the positive sentiment that stands in the, in the society of the coming uh, exit of, from the European Union, this first moment. So a second, it's uh, in general overall uh, statistics on the, in the United Kingdom right now doesn't demand the immediate rate drop, rate cut. So Bank of England will try to postpone it and keep this at possibility to cut rate in the future. Because uh, when you have something in your pocket that you could use later, it's always better than trying to use it immediately if it is not necessary. From that standpoint, I suppose that uh, Bank of England will satisfy the market view and probably also will keep the rate unchanged. So that could provide some support to Great British Pound. So yesterday we already have specified the trading plan, what we are watching for. Just to remind you, I will show you the chart. So here guys, our uh, pattern that we discussed yesterday, this morning starts retracing right back down and in general we are watching also for a kind of the bit skewed hand shoulders pattern, ABC retrace, now market bounce up and stands flat. So in general, for the uh, this type of the setup, the short-term setup, this invalidation point, so drop below this area probably will lead to the further downside acceleration. But in general, uh, the most decisive point here is, of course, these lows. Because if market will take it out of these lows, it will mean that it is forming a bearish reversal swing and probably downward action will, will happen. It means only one thing, that this downward action that we are waiting for this this kind of this A, B, C top already started. So currently we still think that it could be some another move up first. It's moving to the C point higher just because of the triangle consolidation. This market doesn't go down right now. And that makes me think that it could be kind of the butterfly maybe here or something of that sort based on the background of the Bank of England meeting. Maybe some comments will be made so that could push Great British Pound higher. But if this will not happen and market will drop below these lows, breaking the triangle, it will mean that we're dealing with this A, B, C top pattern, OP target somewhere around 127 area, I suppose. So we could measure it with more precision. Yes, it's around 127. So here we're just watching what will happen. In half, within an hour from the Bank of England, we will get the gross domestic product release, but here, market expects approximately 2.1% of growth. Uh, yesterday, Fed hasn't given any surprising comments, so everything was predictable. And according to the expectation, that's why actually we do not see any, absolutely any volatility on, on, the, on the Forex market, so no reaction in Fed at all. On the euro currency, now let's turn, turn to the euro currency, let's see what we have. Market is coiling and coiling around major support. So as I said, euro currency, as I call it, is waiting when the dollar index will hit the same area. While market is calling here within the five sessions in a row, waiting when the dollar index will reach it, dollar index is climbing. So it's moving higher and higher, and it stands almost at the target. So just another attempt, another swing up should be made to complete the OP. And in this case, all targets will coincide in the same area as your currency will stand at this ABC where it already is, 
has dollar index will appear and complete the same ABCD passion and both of them stand at the major sub major level. So on the dollar index this is the five 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 eight six one eight FIB resistance on the euro currency this is uh, six one eight FIB support. And theoretically some relief should happen at least technical response. Maybe it will be triggered by uh, slightly worse uh, gross domestic product data or something. It could trigger the pullback. That's the things that we're waiting for. In general, uh, on the euro currency, we see some hints on the possible pullback, some retracement, because take a look here is market showing a tight consolidation, forming this trend has turned bullish right around the support. It's very choppy action, indicates that some buyers probably step in and support market in this area, because euro currency stands flat while the dollar index is moving higher. On the year, on a hourly chart, we could see this widening wedge pattern accompanied by the with the divergence, and it indicates the growing bullish power, because uh, while the lows are gradual, you can see it's approximately the same length of the downside action. The pullbacks becomes greater. That makes this wide shape of the wedge, showing the wider part of the pattern here, showing that the pullbacks become stronger and higher. And that's also the bullish sign, it's growing volatility. So here probably we could consider some kind of the inside of these consolidations, kind of the head and shoulders. Uh, when the market will show some retracement, while dollar index will will be climbing right right to the major target, so it could move slightly higher, and your currency also could react with some deeper here some downward swing inside of this consolidation. Uh, and here we, we need to control the action. So, for example, if market will stop somewhere around one uh, or nine ninety five and turns up again, in this case, market will not reach the lower border. That will be also the signal that's probably breakout will follow. So that's the moment to keep an eye on on the euro currency. So that being said, the two points. First is of course monitoring the dollar index and when it will hit the OP. And so be major condition to keep an eye on. Then re reaction on this resistance should start. And next st step is watching for euro currency how it will behave when the dollar index will be at top. We suggest that it should be somewhere around 995 lows, where market theoretically could turn up before it will reach the lower border. That will be a confirmation that probably upper reaction here could happen. Well, on the Great British Pound, we will keep an eye on setup that we have specified yesterday.